what I think Barack is speaking to just a little bit, I think is just getting on code. I think that mm -hmm. black men just getting on code because it goes, it's kind of like how we were talking about with the relationships. It's like, it's just this general consensus of y'all just don't like us mm -hmm. because now you have these black men that are like, oh, she ain't even black. She Indian and black. But it's like, well, hold up. When y'all date biracials and interracials and exoticals, y'all say, they, oh, she's black. She's black. What do you mean? Like the FBAs. She's black. You know what I mean? <laughs> you damn misanthrop. Miss Sandwich. Miss 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 <laughs> like, OK, like, yes, she's, she's a black phenotype, but she's still a biracial right, woman. His right. wife is still biracial. That's not a problem. Right. But let's not be intellectually dishonest and act like, oh, the problem is because she's mixed. But in every other arena, we would like this phenotype of black woman. Yo, so we back in here for another edition after your mother and I like big courts. So I'm be respectful. That's his daughter. Let me just be the first to say <clears throat> only misinformed, uh, ill informed and uneducated Negroes lump everybody into the black pot. We've never said that biracial women or at least people with half a brain don't necessarily readily lump biracial people into quote, quote, blackness, especially black people like Tiger Woods or Kamala Harris. Now, Kamala Harris, she's not black for several reasons, but I'll just dole it down to a few. The fact that it hasn't been confirmed that her dad was even remotely Afro-Jamaican and Irish. We don't know. The verdict's still out. I know when I looked it up, um, it said Indo-Jamaican. Then when she got elected, it said Afro-Jamaican. So they could be pulling a whammy-bammy. Not only that, when we say black, black, while there are African people, Caribbean people that identify as black in the States, most people that are Caribbean or African identify as their tribe or their ethnicity, Caribbean and or whatever tribe they're from in Africa. Black is literally used as an ethnicity for the people that are dark skinned and melanated within America and also a racial category. I really wish people would read books. I'm not going to knock her that hard because she looks like she's about 25 and most people in their 20s and early 30s aren't really well read and real well read and well versed so they don't know. And <clears throat> exotical isn't a word. Let me just put that out there. <laughs> And I have a like this strikes a nerve, you know what I'm saying? Because while my mom is biracial and my dad is black, hey, it's three quarters, right? It's almost a dollar. What are we talking about here? But genetics doesn't work like that. What I will say is a person that's biracial, biracial is technically something different and new. A person that like myself, while I'm not three quarters black, there's no such thing as it's mostly black genetics, right? So it's an amalgamation that's predominantly black. So that's why I call myself black. A person like Obama or Kamala Harris or just biracial people in general would be something new. And there's a lesser like genetic structure of being quote unquote black. They're 50-50. But like I said, genetics doesn't work like that. The amalgamation is literally one half of each. So yeah. That's why we say she's not black. Not only that, she was pandering to us. You know, damn Caribbean people eating no damn greens. Collard greens cooked in you know, washed in tubs. So knock that shit off. That's why we said she wasn't black. She was pandering to us, not to Caribbeans. In any event, if y'all like this episode, if it made any sense, Big Court, yo, what up? Just figured I'd do this video. I, I meant to do it when I saw this video, but I've been so stagnant with other shit. In any event, if y'all like this, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm out. No.